Okay. So now if we go back to our agenda, we've talked about SQL search, we've talked about compa SQL compare, and we've talked about SQL data compare. So we're three tools done, and we still have um, about five tools left, right? Okay, the next tool is SQL Doc. SQL Doc is really easy to use, and it's not, um, not anything fancy, but I think um, you'll like it. If you're ever asked to do any type of auditing report, you can say, please tell me everything about my server, and then inside my server, tell me everything about the T-SQL 2012 database and maybe the AdventureWorks database. Maybe this AdventureWorks database, right? And you just click this button called Generate Documentation. And what it does is it just creates either an HTML, a doc, or PDF of the exact state of the database at the time you generated the documentation. So it will tell you what options were turned on. It'll tell you what files did the database had. It'll tell you how many records were in each table. It'll tell you the name of the tables. It'll tell you what objects were dependent on that table. So here, here's my documentation now, and it's an HTML file. I can save that off, check it into source control, email it to somebody, right? Maybe PDF is a better candidate for emailing it to somebody. But if I click on like T-SQL 2012, and I click on tables, and I want to know the state of the customer's um, database as of March 30th at 1.30, and I click customers, you can see it had 91 rows. You can see when it was created. You can see its last modification. You can see its column definitions, right? You can see its data type, its nullability. You can see its indexing. You can see the script it would take to rebuild it if you're interested. You can see what it uses, and you can see what it's used by. And in this case, it's used by the orders table. And these are all hot links. You can just click on the orders table and see that orders have 830 records and all those things about the orders table as well, including what's using the orders table. So you can see some power here. Um, and it's super easy. So if somebody says, hey, can you please document a bunch of things? Like you want what server set options have been turned on. Here are the server settings that might be turned on. Um, you can just generate documentation, save it off. I don't know if you've got compliance issues or something like that.